beach bag and essentials. Now my cousin is filming right now. Nicole, say hello. Hi. Before I get started, this is also a collab with my friend Michelle. I will have her channel and video linked in the description below. She is also doing a DIY beach bag and essentials. So without further ado, let's get started. For the first DIY, all you will need is just a t-shirt and some scissors. So I am going to begin by cutting off the collar and the sleeves of my shirt. Lastly, I'm just cutting like pieces off of the end of my shirt and I'm not cutting them off. It, it's really hard to explain. I don't know how, my, how I'm wording things right now. Oh my gosh. But you guys can kind of see what I mean. And then after you've cut them basically around the whole bottom, you're going to knot each and every one of them. You, don't, you can do a double knot if you want to, but I decided to only do one knot. This next step is completely optional. Basically what I did, because since I was making it for my cousin, I put some hot glue and actually hot glued down some gems in this shape of an N. For this next beach bag, all you'll need is like a sponge. I actually hot glued a cosmetic sponge onto a broken paintbrush that I had. And I'm also using some blue and yellow paint and some black paint. To make my beach bag, I actually just found this old jean bag laying around my house. I have no idea where I got it. It was just sitting in my house for some reason, so I decided to use it. First, I am taking a strip of duct tape and putting it at like near the bottom of my bag. And then I am painting the bottom to where it's like, yeah, right there. I'm, I, how, I don't know how to talk today. I'm so sorry, guys. Basically, I'm just sponging on the black and then ripping off the duct tape once the black has completely dried. And about one third of the way, I'm going to paint the bag blue. Only one third of it though, not the whole thing. So I'm just sponging that on too and kind of blending in the blue with the black as it's like ombre but not really ombre if that is anything. For the rest of the bag I'm painting it yellow or if you want to be scientific with it, two thirds of the bag I am painting it yellow. And again I am just sponging on the yellow. I actually did more than one coat just because it didn't look good in real life with just one coat. Don't worry guys, we're almost done. Now I'm taking this like sparkly blue nail polish and putting it where I had the blue and just putting that on my bag and actually just getting my fingers dirty and using it and like spreading it all over the place. I thought this was a great alternative to just using plain glitter. But for the yellow, I decided to use gold glitter just because I didn't have gold nail polish. And basically, I painted the bag one more coat of yellow. And before it dried, I sprinkled on my glitter and then knocked off any excess glitter. My first beach bag essential is definitely a towel. Because if you end up going in the water or you want to land in the sand, you definitely want to have a towel. I'm also bringing some makeup removers because if you're not wearing waterproof makeup, you will be saved with makeup removers. 
also I am bringing some water because you gotta stay hydrated. You don't you don't want to like pass out when you're at the beach. I'm also bringing some sunglasses because you want to protect your eyes, and they're just like so stylish. Okay. My next beach bag essential is sunscreen because you can burn yourself if you have really bad sun when you're at the beach. And my last essential is headphones. I don't know why, but sometimes I just like to bring headphones when I'm at the beach if I decide to not go in the water. watching my DIY beach bag and essentials. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Goodbye.